What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mark Tunoco, black belt under Marcelo Garcia, five-time world champion, Big Oz. Guys, in today's lesson, I'm gonna bring it up one very, uh, I won't say controversial, but uh, a very interesting topics that a lot of people ask me in a daily. So a lot of people ask him, Marcus, why I don't see you play shallow last much, okay? So, and that caused my attention because a lot of my students ask that and, and I believe you guys have the same thought in mind and, and so I want to break it out a little bit for you guys and show the difference one for the other. So, if you're interested to uh, uh, understand a little bit about the shallow lasso and a deep lasso, so this video is for you, okay? So, we're going to start right here where uh, uh, I will start off why I don't play much shallow lasso. Okay, shallow lasso can be a, a very good opportunity to go for a, a, a bicep slide, for example. But there is only one reason why I don't feel comfortable playing. Okay, sometimes I even mess around, but I feel like I'm risking too much and gamble too much my connection from bottom. Okay, so let's start off with the shallow lasso, and then you guys just follow to it, follow, follow into, into it, and then we we go into the, the, the deep lasso and I will show you the difference from one to the other, the beneficial one to the other, okay? So we're gonna go here, where I'm gonna have Matt right into the shallow lasso, right here. I have the shallow last right there, where I feel like, oh, Marcos, I have my, my foot right hooking my uh, the person's arm. Great, that's amazing. I have like nothing against shallow last, right? So uh, sometimes I even show the difference from shallow last in class and whoever uh, asking me about the shallow last and deep last, I was, uh, uh, I feel happy to help. So the shallow last, so, if you don't time your technique right, you're gonna get uh, uh, gonna expose expose you yourself. So the shallow last for here, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go. If the person doesn't move, works 100% perfect. But the shallow lasso opens up. Oh, I'm gonna let Matt hug my head, and then from here go on the bicep slide right there. Okay. So if you miss the bicep slide, you're gonna get your guard passed. Okay, and then you're gonna get smashed. Okay, so move back a little bit, Matt. So from here, look what we're gonna do. I have the shallow lasso, boom. He might break this grip, he might serve this hand, boom, break that grip, and then he goes back step, exactly right here. So with the shallow lasso, I cannot push Matt away. I don't think I don't think he can push at all, because once he hugs my head, it's gonna be super hard, and then I have the shallow last on this side, and then he's gonna start bring, uh, bringing these on the mat, mat. Yes. And then from here, he smashed me, okay? And then I might, maybe I don't have the time for the bicep slide right here, and then by the time we're going there, he takes the arm out, and then he pass, okay? So the shallow lasso, if you don't have a perfect plan for, it's gonna be a disaster from there, okay? So make sure that once you play a shallow lasso, you play well. So like I say, with the shallow lasso, you expose a lot more and you're gonna play with fire pretty much. So from here, the shallow lasso allows Matt to circle around. And then from here, it's gonna be super hard to back step and go, go. It's gonna be super hard to push Matt away from me if I have the shallow lasso. And then from here, if you freak out and then let go the, the last and then he smash me, okay? So, shallow last, so once you go, once you put it on, you might pull, you might push, but you just stay there, right? And uh, like I say, if you don't have a good plan, it's gonna be super hard to deal with. So, the shallow last, Matt can circle around a lot easy and it's gonna be super hard to push Matt away, okay? So make sure you play around. So now let's go. Uh, let's go over the the deep lasso, and I'll show the difference. Exactly the same scenario where for here, where I'm gonna put the lasso, deep lasso, go right there, knee, 
foot on the hip, knee on the shoulder, okay? Showing the side of the dick, one more My foot around the side of the hip. So that way I have more tension on Matthew's shoulder, okay? So now, so back. Now the deep lasso, look. I'm gonna show with our grips. Just you guys see the difference from one to the other, okay? So now the deep lasso. Matt gonna go around, do the back step, boom, exactly. So he did a back step, exactly the same thing, hugs my head. So now, Matt, can you circle back the way? From here, I'm sideways, okay? So with my knee, okay, on the shoulder, I want to start extending my knee and move my head back. I'm not even gonna use his hands, so stay there. So stay tight, Matt, stay, yes. So look, he may grip behind my head. Don't try uh, 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 try a hip escape. Just use your knee on the shoulder. That's the benefits of the deep lasso. My knee gonna start pushing, and this guy, look, pay attention what's happening. My shoulder start moving back, so I'm gonna separate that way. Now, of course, he's not gonna stay there. Every time he, re um, keep the same way, but so far. Every time he's there, he needs to rebuild the moment that he rebuilt, I place my foot on the hip and let him go. Whenever he go, look how easy to time the sweep right there and then come up, okay? So the benefits of the deep lasso, your frame is legit. You can push anytime you want, okay? That was my bottom line uh, 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 reaction, okay? So look. Once I'm here, deep lasso, foot on the hip, knee on the shoulder. Now, every time he circle around, he back step, I extend myself. Okay? So, let's go back this way. Let's try and get the best angle as possible. So, foot on the hip. Now, he goes back step and reach. Look. I move on away. So, now from here, this guy can go there. Even when Matt starts build up his base, I can go for the sweep or build up on my bottom knee and then go to the omoplata, go for the arm bar, and if you push it up, go for the triangles. So the benefits of the deep lasso, and, and, and it's amazing because you can time, you can control, it's more controllable with the person, okay? So the shallow lasso expose a lot of the person backstab, the person can be more free around your guard. The deep lasso, if the person close the distance on you, you can really extend. So for example, now, Matt gonna, I have the, uh, the deep lasso, deep lasso, not shallow lasso, okay? So from here to here. So now Matt gonna hold my collar and then you start like, do a like a back step. Go and pull yourself by the collar, exactly. So my knee, my foot goes on the hip. Now I'm gonna start extending myself, pushing. My, move this one. My knee start pushing back. So go back. Uh, uh, so that, that's exactly what happened. So if he doesn't wanna fall, he has to let go because I'm pushing, it's too much. So all I have to do is extend from here, go hold the cup, to here. So a lot of pressure on his grip, he have to let go to post it. And then from here, you can also bring your grip back and then work on it, okay? Even from, um, back to your knees. So now with the shot, with the deep lasso, if Matt collapsed my knee with the bottom knee, okay, like this, so lift the hip up, Matt, lift the hip up and drop his shoulders. That's it. So now from here, if my knee collapsed, okay, so all I have to do here is bring my bottom leg to the back, just like this. And now build up and sit. And then Matt gonna repose, he repose his base. He might go around my, my, my leg right here, right? So then my bottom leg is my best friend in the lasso. I can hook bottom leg, come up, replace, and go from there, okay, behind the knee. Okay, so move this way. So into a deep 
from action, uh, deep lasso, your bottom leg is your best friend into a recomposing uh, uh, your position. Okay, so I have the deep lasso, and then foot on the hip, mat push my my collapse my knee down, boom, and then from here, what's gonna happen? I want to come up to my elbow, my bottom leg come out. Why my bottom leg comes out? Because right now, guys, I don't have the hip, but I have the knee on the shoulder. Now I'm gonna come up on my knee, and then from here, sit. Now when I sit down, that might run around me, toward my back. Run, 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 run. Yes, I'm sitting. Like I say, move around a bit. Your bottom leg right now, I kind of like lost the lasso. I lost my connection, but I still have the grip. Bottom leg, hook anywhere there. Scoop back, place my legs between. My lasso is deep. My lasso is not here. You see here, look how big that gap it is. My lasso is there. And then from here, look, I can even bring him down with my both knees and sweep right there. So the benefits of the difference really from the shallow lasso to a deep lasso, the shallow lasso, you playing with fire 99.9%. So nothing wrong with it, but make sure that you time your movement perfect. It's not gonna be in time, you're gonna have a hard time, okay? It's a lot easier to build a, 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 a shallow lasso, a, a, a deep lasso. It's a lot easier to build a deep lasso and build a good concept because you have more control, it's more controllable. And the best, best part of this, not playing shallow lasso, you expose less your knee, okay? So a lot of people have injuries like hurting the knee and then they stop playing lasso because it's a lot of pressure on my knee. With the deep lasso, you prevent a lot of the knee injuries. So make sure that if you want to, you have a bad knee, play a deep lasso and you're always going to stay away from the problem. Because really what happened here is when I play, my knee have a bad knee, when I play in here, it's a lot of torsion. If Matt type putting pressure right here, it's a lot of pressure on my knee. So make sure that if your foot is right there, your knee is out of danger. So my foot is free to go in that way. Look the shallow last. I cannot move mat much. I need to get here more power. So make sure that if you wanted to build a good uh, a lasso concept, start messing around the, the deep lasso and you will see the difference. So what keeps the deep lasso strong is your foot on the hip. Okay, so that's the difference that I wanted to bring it out to you guys. So the shallow lasso, you expose a lot of yourself and the deep lasso, you have more control. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like, comment, and share with your friends. Make sure, more important, to subscribe to the channel and help grow this channel for you guys, okay? So thank you so much. And also, guys, if you want to uh, check it out, my instructions about lasso, concept, uh, concept from lasso, and uh, submissions, and uh, uh, submission, uh, sweep end up with submissions from lasso at bjfnx.com. I'm going to put the link right in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. And uh, it's, it's legit, so you guys can really build up from foundations to advanced lasso sweep and submission, okay? So thank you so much.